I'm Andrew Bolt and this is The Bolt Report. This war in Gaza is terrible. No one seeing the victims, especially those children, can forgive the people who have created this terrible conflict. The accidental bombing of one shelter this week killed another 20 people and a UN official broke down trying to explain it. The rights of Palestinians, even their children, are wholesale denied and it's appalling. Most reporters blame Israel for this war with Hamas, the terrorist group which rules Gaza, the strip of territory between Israel and Egypt. But in fact, Hamas has broken all four ceasefires negotiated so far. See, Hamas wants this war, and it wants dead civilians to show the world, which is why it broadcasts orders to civilians to ignore Israeli army leaflets warning them to move away from homes from where Hamas deliberately chooses to fire its missiles. Hamas wants this war, which is why its television station tells even children to join the fight and kill Jews. <laughs> Here's the bottom line. If Israel does nothing, the missiles will keep coming. If it strikes back, it's accused of war crimes. So either way in this game, the Jews lose and that smells of anti-Semitism. Let me ask all those anti-Israel protesters something. If you're so upset that 1,500 Muslims have died in this war, why have you said nothing about the 170,000 Muslims who have died so far in Syria's civil war, including the dozens decapitated in the past fortnight? Why have you said nothing about the Islamic State jihadists shooting hundreds of unarmed Iraqis just the other day? If you're really so worried about violence against children, why haven't you protested against Boko Haram, who this year cut the throats of schoolboys and made slaves of nearly 300 girls? Why is Israel the great evil? When Muslims are killing thousands more Muslims in wars in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Somalia, Libya, Yemen, Iraq, Syria, is it that those Jews won't just lie down and die? something smells and sure enough around the west we see that familiar old hatred this time fed by mass immigration from the third world in france this month arab rioters looted and burned jewish shops and attacked synagogues as well as the police trying to protect them in germany this month two men wearing jewish yarmulkes were attacked protesters shouted anti-semitic slogans and a berlin imam preached death in Austria, Israeli soccer players playing a so-called friendly match were kicked by pro-Palestinian protesters. And in Brussels, four Jews were gunned down early this year by allegedly a French Muslim. Even in Sydney, protesters flew the black flags of jihad and yellow flags of the Hezbollah terrorist group, and one abused the Jewish reporter. Shame on you! Shame on you, the Jewish! You are Jewish! Shame on you! In Sydney's Lakemba just a week ago, Muslim protesters called for jihad to help Gaza. <laughs> No, this isn't really about Israel being cruel. This is about Jews daring to protect themselves and their country. And if, God forbid, they lose, do you really think the war stops there? <laughs>